Hey there, welcome back to another travel vlog. At the end of this summer, I returned to Greece to soak up the sun and embrace the art of slow living. This vlog is a collection of moments from my week there, so come along as we relax on the beach, savor delicious heroes and sip on Fredo Cappuccinos. We kicked off our trip that Gatwick. As usual, there were some transportation hiccups, so we arrived extra early. All the stores were still closed, but once they opened, we ate it straight to the breakfast club for, you guessed it, breakfast. I hadn't been there in ages and honestly I remember it being better. Still, you can't beat the retro decor. After a few hours of mostly sleeping and reading the first volume of Akotar on the plane, we finally touched down in Greece under a blazing sun. The rest of the day was spent chilling and catching up on sleep. For dinner, we had our first of many heroes of this trip. Hands down, the best I've ever had. We started the morning in town with a refreshing Fredo Cappuccino. For lunch, we went to a traditional restaurant known for its grilled chicken and it was absolutely delicious. Of course, we had all the tasty grease starters to go with it. That evening, we headed to the rooftop to watch the sunset and catch some shooting stars. The sky was full of them that week and it was my first time seeing one, it was magical. Later, we explored a nearby coastal town called Purnari, where there was a food fair. Although we ended up skipping the fair, we tried a local restaurant instead and settled on burgers after a long debate. We hit the beach that day and let me tell you, coming from northern France, I always forget just how scorching Greek sun can get. It was so hot, it actually burned out our feet. But after finding a spot to settle in, we enjoyed the warm Mediterranean waters. For lunch, we stayed at the beach and ordered various fish dishes, paired with fries, Greek salad, and of course some delicious saganaki. That night we went to a paniri in a nearby village, which is a traditional summer festival with Greek music, roasted pork and a great chance to mingle with the local community. We had a relaxing morning at home, enjoying the view of the leaf trees on the mountains before heading to another beach. I kept reading Akotar and honestly, I'm still on the fence about it. I love the world building, but I'm not sure how I feel about some of the characters. Afterward, we stopped by a small book festival in town. There were a lot of interesting looking books, though they were all in Greek, obviously. We ended the day with our second heroes of this trip. We spent the day in Pyrgos, where we started off with some bogaza. It wasn't as good as the one we had in Odessa, but it came pretty close. Later, we cooled off with yet another Fredo Cappuccino in an air-conditioned cafe. That night, we tried stargazing again, hoping to see more shooting stars. Unfortunately, they all seemed to appear when I wasn't looking. 
We didn't do much during the day, so in the late afternoon we headed back to the beach. It was less crowded than earlier in the day and the water was somehow even warmer, if that's possible. We watched a beautiful sunset which felt truly magical. And of course we wrap up the day with our one last heroes. We took a road trip into the mountains to visit the temple of Apollo Epicurius. This World Heritage Site is in a remote, wrecked area, and even though it's covered by a protective tent for restoration, it's still magnificent. The temple was built in 420 BC by the people of Figalia to honor Apollo for delivering them from a plague. The architecture is stunning, blending Doric, Ionic and even an early example of a Corinthian column. It was designed by Ictinos, which is the same architect behind the Parthenon. After the temple, we made our way to the Neda Waterfalls. Google made it look majestic, but what I didn't expect was the hike to get there. It took us about 30 minutes on a small, rocky and pretty high path. It was incredibly hot and busy and we quickly ran out of water snacks. Lesson learned. On our way back down, we grabbed some snacks from a shop before heading back to the same beach at the previous day for another gorgeous sunset. On our last day, we spent the morning in town grabbing our friend Alfredo Cappuccino of that trip and treating ourselves to some waffles. After that, it was time to head to the airport and catch our flight back to London. I hope you enjoyed tagging along on our Greek adventure, and I'll see you in the next video.